everyone, it's Monica again. I'm here for part two of our cookbook decorating series. Today we should finish our cookbooks. We're just going to pretty it up a little bit, make some tags, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, if you have liked this, these last two videos, hit the like button and subscribe for future videos that come out. As I said, after we've finished doing the cookbook, we are going to do, I'm going to do two videos on um, recipes. So one will be the Rocky Road and the other one will be the plum puddings with the tags that go with it. They were what I showed in my um, Instagram um, page that went along with these and everyone seemed to love them. So I thought I'll do something a little bit different. So with my phone, I'm gonna to have to transfer it over to my other tripod. So just bear with me. It hopefully won't be a bit very wobbly and we'll get cracking and it should be maybe about 20 minutes. There's not too much to go. So just hold on a moment and I will take this off without wobbling it too much. sensitive things these phones and yes you're not upside down so that's a good start okay so first thing I'm going to do is I did write down um, things that you will um, need the paper sizes so sorry you're on a bit of a lane there just trying to get that right so there we go, a bit too far the other way. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to put this here and hopefully you can see that. That's it. So I'll leave that there for a minute so you can always pause it and write it down. If there's anything there that you don't understand, just leave me a comment and I will reply to you. Okay, so just to recap so far, how far we've come along with the book if you have got your paper so we've, we have done the front cover and the inside with the two pockets and then we have done our first lot of dividers that we're going to be decorating some lots of pockets which I like lots of storage space and like I said you can use any paper you like I really love the country style papers, so that's what I've chosen. And then that's the back page. So, first of all, what we're gonna do is um, decorate the front. Now, I did find this cute paper, this with the strawberries on it, which was from another suite, which went really well. And what I did with the other book was I actually sponged around with a dauber around the outside of it. I didn't need to really do it with this paper because as you can see it's already got that oldie type look that it's been around for a long time. So we're just going to, I've used crumb cake for this one because I just want a little bit of a, a vintage look and also if you've got cardstock that's sort of like white that's not coloured all the way through that you just go along the edge of it and that will cover that whiteness. So I'll give it that vintage, vintage type of look. So I'm going to use that for the front. You don't need to put too much on there. It just gives it that little bit of vintage, vintage style, which with these kind of colours, they remind me of like the 1950s, which I, I love that era, 40s, 50s, with the reds and the greens. And there we nearly finished that one. So I plan to put that one there on the front. Now I cut this out, I've already cut the page up. It was the, um, this is what's left of it. It was the page with all different cards. Some, some were straight, some not so straight, but they had the lines where you could cut them out. But I thought Cook was appropriate for the front of the card. Now again, it's already been kind of sponge, but I'm just gonna go over it because you can see the the white through the cardstock, so I want to cover that up. Just makes it look a little bit better. I so said you don't have to be perfect, you don't have to put a lot on, just gives it that really nice finished look. And last side. I did most of the cards because it's a 
bit boring for you watching me go around with a sponge door, but so I've only just left those for me to show you how to do it. So the crumb cake um, is not a very dark brown, so it's actually quite a nice vintage type of brown. This one here came from the um, page that had all the borders on it, which I'll just take out the pack. Excuse me a minute. So this one here, it's got all the all the different borders, and you just trim trim which one you want. And I chose the apple pie one because I really like the apple pie. Gives it a bit of colour. So you've got quite a few different borders that you can choose from. They can add a little bit of interest to your pages. So I'm just getting rid of the white that you can see. Okay, so we've finished that one. Now I have got... I did do a tag. Again, the tag will be um, on that first sheet of paper that I showed you. So the tag is four inches um, long by two and three quarter inches, and then I just snip the sides. So what I do is I cut one side, take that corner, put it over the other side, and just snip that, and then you'll get an even side. Put a hole punch in it, and you're good to go. And again, just sponging it, making it that vintage vintage style and then what you would do is use the stickers if you wanted to round the corners you can but because the book is square and the pages are square I've left it square you can also laminate these if you wanted to I did have enough paper left over to do some bookmarks which I will laminate but the tags I won't because I like that um, the paper look there which will be really nice to put on your rocky road or your little plum puddings or rumbles if you want to call them that they don't have rum in them though they have sherry but not rum okay so that's ready to go I earlier um, cut up the, the recipe cards now I did sponge around those as well so you can see this one I did the yellow because it was more of a yellowy border so I did daffodil delight on that one and they, these are really good to actually keep in there so if you have cooked something someone really loves it you can always write the recipe down and you can hand it over or you can um, make whatever it is that they've really liked and attach that to the recipe and it's a lovely gift put a lovely bow in it, pole punch with a lovely big bow, and it'd be a lovely gift. So they look really nice just sitting into your, um, into your cookbook, but we will put them in there, so I'll show you that later. Um, I did leave one blank, which is the, the yellow, and I am going to sponge around that. So I'll just get the daffodil light, just so you get the, the gist of how to do that. I do sponging on a lot of projects. I like the look of it. I like the vintage style. That's kind of where I tend to lean towards. But personally, anyway. Okay, so there you go. It's just a little bit around, around there. Just gives it a little bit more depth of colour. And the cards are done. We've got those side. Now, for the belly band that we did, I have made, what I did was I had taken a little sticker from my sticker sheet, which I do, oh, here we go, I've got it on this side, um, which I've taken from here. So what I did was I took the um, recipes from there and stuck that on a square piece of um, paper that I had left over, the, the stripy paper. Whoop. That one there so all I did was I cut a piece of the um, yellow daffodil delight 
and the again the measurements are on the piece of paper that I showed you at the beginning so the yellow is two by two and then the um, square here is one seven eighth by one seven eighth which is quite confusing but it's just two notches under the two inch mark so that's easy to remember and then you just glue that together and then I cut another a square out because that's going to go on the back so what I'll do is I'll just glue that on I'm not going to laminate it but we will need a hot glue gun to put the cording through it because it needs something quite strong on that and I did I did find some glues at work so I was very happy I do need to get some more but I've got enough to keep me going for the day oh look at that I've already actually done that so I will endeavor to get there we go I can use that for something else in my preparations I had already made two and I've already sponged it obviously so these will be sandwiched together with the cord for the belly band so put this away so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to attach this apple pie border and I'm just going to use liquid glue for that the Tombow as I said um, you could probably use your tape runner but because this is more like a cardstock I suggest that you use um, a, a liquid glue um, it will hold it will hold better now the these are optional you can decorate it however you like again um, I've just chosen these few pieces that go together I like a little bit of layering things on a bit of an angle which I've done like that I did sponge very lightly around that I think I showed you that I don't actually put dimensionals or lift things up because it is something that you're going to be using all the time back and forth so if you have too many things that um, stick out too much then more than likely you're going to fall off so I'm just going to put that on the side I had to play around with, with, with this before that's why I kind of know where I'm putting things and I did have a I did buy these little wooden um, cupcakes in my local two dollar store which I really thought they were very cute and I'm going to add that to it I thought um, I thought I could paint it but then trying to get the same color was going to be a bit difficult and I thought no it'll go it'll go fine just as it is has a, it does have a bit of a sticky but it's not very sticky so I'll just use a bit of glue to pop that on now I might have to do that here because I've got the belly band going there so I'm just going to put that pop that there and let that dry and I did want a, a little bit of a ribbon um, which I might put there I just wanted a bit of yellow just for it to pop so I've got glue dots here so how I attach my ribbons so they don't fall off is I put a glue dot on there I fold that in half and I'll just scrape it off like that and then I'll put a little bit of tom Tombow glue on there the glue dot just holds it in place while the Tombow dries so just a little and this is um, pretty good it won't it should not fall off so I'll just make that there, a little bit girly you can make it's not going to go there we go so that's the front of it now with the belly band I did get some red cording um, you can get just the black and white um, elastic had elastic from your two dollar shop or your local um, cheap shop um, this is really a really good size elastic and I do use that a lot for my um, traveling notebooks 
but at Christmas time, I did buy a lot of um, coloured ones from AliExpress. The uh, thing is, with this elastic, it's quite thick, so it was too thick for me to use in the traveller's notebooks, but perfect for the um, belly band that we're going to use. So what I did was, I just went wrapped, wrapped around it like that. Just stre stretched it a bit. We're going to have to use a hot glue gun for this, or you can use a stapler. And I'm going to, first of all, I will be gluing one that way and that way. Sorry. That's how I'm going to glue them on. I have to take this over to my hot glue gun station because um, the plug is too far away. And then when I've done that, I will I will show you and then I'll be sandwiched that. So if you just bear with me for a minute, I'll just attach this. The right way around. It won't be too long because this glue dries very quickly. But once it dries, it's it's actually pretty good. So if you can see, I've got that sandwich there. I've got the glue there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put quite a bit of glue around the whole thing and then I will sandwich those together and then there you'll have your your belly band okay so just one moment I'll just go and do that So you need, you need quite a bit because you're going to be taking it on and off all the time and once you've got this glue on it should be it should be fine and it'll be nice and nice and bulky too so just just be really careful with the hot glue gun I, I do burn myself a lot with it but it's very hot and I have got a lot of glue in there but as I said you need it to be strong because you don't want it falling apart when you're taking it on and off all the time. So this one would be a bit hard to actually, I'm just gonna get tissue, um, to put through the laminator because yeah, there's no way of getting the cord through it. So you just have to hot glue gun. Glue guns are so cheap. You can get them from Spotlight for about $10 and the glue sticks. They're really a very handy tool to have. I love the hot glue gun. So. Now that's really hot still, so I'm not going to stretch it until it dries. In the meantime, I will go through. Oh, so what I have done, I will show you one more thing. I had these um, strips of um, paper left over and I actually turned them into bookmarks, which you can also use gift um, as a gift to wrap around um, any of the presents that you, if any food presents that you make. And I'm just going to get my label punch, my label punch, my um, punch there for the for the bookmarks. So what I do is I cut it just a tad under the two inches, so it slides in really nice and smooth. So you slide it right to the top, and then just punch, and you get that really nice, nice fancy little topper there. And then I put that through the laminate laminating machine. And I have also done the. I have also done the um, done made the little tabs here for the baking desserts entrees. I just cut a two-inch scallop circle out, and the other one here is one and three eighths. But you can do whatever shape you like. If you have a, a um, another shape that you prefer by all means use that. Again, what I did was I sponged around these, so I've left one to do on camera for you. I'll just get my sponge dauber, and I'm going with this color. Again, it just hides the white. I laminate these because I think that they will last a lot longer, especially when you're flicking through all the time. This is what you will be touching most of the time, so it'll have that little bit of protection. And I just hand wrote, you can use 
a labeler if you like, but I don't mind the handwritten. Could probably be a bit neater, but that's okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. And again, we'll just pop a little bit of glue. Put that in the middle. And then this one is for the mains. So I'm just going to write mains on the front there. Yeah, just squeeze that in. So I'll pop that all on the side. And I've got my laminating sheet all ready. So this is what I've prepared earlier. So I've got the other bookmarks in there. And I'm putting my circles in between because I have them at the end, they might fall out. So make sure you've got enough space so that you can cut around the laminate. laminate. And this will be, we'll keep it nice and strong. Wear and tear will be a lot less. So I'm just going, I've already got my laminator heated up, so I'm just going to quickly pop that through. Again, I don't, I don't have um, PowerPoints at the end of my kitchen bench. Oops. Okay. So I won't be a moment, they're all falling out on me. While you're waiting, I'll put that book there so you can admire it. I won't be a sec. I was going to pre-laminate, but I really wanted you to see um, what what you can make with your leftovers. So there's really not a lot of waste. And the laminating machine's not that fast. But still, I'm very happy with it. I think I only paid like $25 for it and I have had so much use out of it. So it's really worth, worth investing in. And you can also, I found out, buy um, thick laminating sheets, which are really great for your traveling notebook um, covers if you're laminating them. And um, you can get them from Officeworks. I think it's about 25 sheets. They're a little, uh, quite a bit more expensive, but if you only use them for things that really need heavy duty, uh, they're really good, really good investment. Okay, here we go. So everything is all laminated and we'll just chop them up quickly. I won't cut them all out. I will just cut the circles out because I'd like to show you how I place them. So I'm just quickly going to cut these. Oop, there we go. Okay, that one I might have to do by hand. I just have to go manoeuvring around. I went a bit close with that one. I always roughly just take, um, separate everything and then I closely cut it. So with these ones here, just separate them. We, oh yes, I will need that. So I just, um, just very roughly cut a scallop around them. It doesn't have to be exact. I've tried um, recutting them with the punch, but it really doesn't work too hard so it's just much quicker much easier if you've got time you can be really fussy and going around it but just for the sake of doing this on camera I'm just going to be really roughly cutting them out just so that I can glue them on so you can see what the finished product looks like so once we've got these on then we'll decorate the, the papers 
a little bit. And you can also add um, other elements to decorate the pages that would go with it that you have in your stash. It doesn't have to be exactly from this suite, but if you've got colours that coordinate really well, you can always use them to make more tags, bookmarks, or pictures that you can fussy cut and glue onto the front, cupcakes, anything like that. So this is the last one. And with a bookmark, I'll just cut one out. Okay, so we've got the three cut there. Just gonna push those aside. With the top of the bookmarks, um, I'll cut one off and I'll show you how I very quickly do these. You just wanna make sure that when you cut your laminate that you don't go too close to the edge because if you do, it will come apart and peel off. So you do want a little bit of a border around it. And I just, I, I, I use my cut it, my cutter here for the measurements. Also what I do is I just roughly cut the corners because they do get very sharp once they've gone through. So you can't really see it, so I just round it off a bit. And here, I just follow the shape of the top of the bookmark. Then I get my whole punch and then I just punch through here. If I need it to be a little bit bigger, I just use my little cutting knife and just, there we go. I've got your first bookmark. I did pick yellow to go, some yellow ribbon. The yellow ribbon is how many inches? I don't do them too long. It's, it's, oh, it's about seven and a quarter inches for the yellow ribbon. And I just cut, fold that in half. And I will poke that through with, oh, these little tools always come in handy. And if you do it from the front to the back, then you get it the right way. And then what you can do to stop the edges from fraying is I get the lighter and I just quickly zip through it. I'll show you quickly how to do that. It's a good little trick to do. Because a lot of the ribbons do tend to fray once you start playing around with them a little bit. So I just have these lighters. Children don't do this at home. Okay, so you just quickly go like that and I went too far like that. I'll just snip that off again because I burnt that too. You just really quickly go through and then that will, will stop that from fraying. Okay. So that's going to look nice in our cookbook. I might do the rest of them as well because I, I want to fill it up. Fill the cookbook up. And it's really good if you can see with how much you can put into it. And plus they're useful if you're having a you know a party or something and you've got several recipes that you don't want to forget to make you can always put your bookmark in there and now I'll trim the edges I did just cut yellow for all of them because the yellow goes I don't have um, the exact color Color ribbon so I thought I'll just stick with that and then later on I will go with the flame and do the edges Oop, wrong end so to decorate the pages I am going to use every part of the kit I'm going to use all the stickers get your money's worth that way and then if I find other things, I'll add that to it too. Okay, nearly finished. That one's pretty close. Just needs straightening up. And 
and rounding the corners again. Again, just doing a hole there. Another yellow piece of paper. And I always cut the ribbon on an angle. It just makes it look a little nicer. You can make these. I do. I make them about seven inches long because I think that that's just a, a good length. But you can also make them longer or shorter, however you like to do them. And lucky last, onto the last one. There we go. Well, it didn't take as long as I thought it would take, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I did think it was going to be a really long video, but just doing the um, cutting everything out first really did save a lot of time. So I'm glad I did that. So I'm thinking I might now, I have done that, I'm just going to trim that off. I will do um, a video on um, travel, some traveller's notebooks. So many different sizes you can do on those. I really like doing those. You can do them as complicated or as simple as you like. Just trim that a little bit more. That's done. Hole punch and we've, so that was pretty quick. We've done four bookmarks and we've done the four circle, four tabs for our cookbook. So that's pretty good. And I'm looking for one escaped ribbon. There it is. Even when I'm organised, I still lose things. Okay. Okay, so they are done. I'm going to move the trimmer out of the way. And bring in our cute little book so I am going to have how I did that I'm gonna have my mains first move that out the way um, entree dessert and then baking so what I do first is I usually use a glue called E600 because I find that laminating, um, laminating, gluing laminating things isn't, it doesn't really um, stick too well, but it might because it's paper. So I, I glue about half of it like that. I line it up like that. So that's where I would put my glue all there. So just, I'm just going to put some hot glue on it. So just a moment, I'm going to have to keep coming back and forth here. And hopefully it will stick okay so just line that up press it it's quite warm underneath there so we'll just wait for it to hold so how I do these then the next one I'll do the baking one and then the other two will be easy just to line them up evenly And I think that's that's actually stuck okay. And we'll go on to the next one. I'll go into the last one actually. So I'm actually going to put that on the front there because we've got the pocket. Unless I can slip that, actually, I'm going to slip that in. I'm going to be cheeky and slip that in and with the hot glue I'll put a little bit of glue there and that'll be fine so I'm going to put that to hold it there and I'm back and I'll just slip that slide that in And that's okay. 
be able to scrape that glue off quite easily. It's cooled down, so that's good. And then we'll go to the second one. So we'll line that up. Put that there. And we'll just check the third one here. Again, I'll probably have to. What have I done here? Oh, here go. I'll have to take that off probably up the top part here, but that's okay. Because it's heavy like cardstock, it's kind of a little bit more pliable. So I'll just do that. Go. And I just want to see where that goes. I know it pretty much there. Okay. I shall be back in a moment. I'll find find that page, then I'm not gonna be mucking around. There we go. It's not hard, just a little bit tricky in how you do it. Okay. So it's fairly even. Just gonna push that down. And then the last one. Oh, this is this one here is where I'm gonna have to put more glue that's when my glue really ran out and I just really had nothing left in the bottle there we go and so that's gonna have to go there Lucky last. And we've got that ready. That's just got to slip into here. That's attached itself again. straight so there we go we've got all our all our tabs into place we've got our front our belly band that's ready so that's pretty good to go now got our tabs here so now we're going to bring the sticker sheet in we're going to have fun sticking. So the first one here, I'm going to put a recipe book in there. Recipe book, recipe page. What colour do we want? I'll go with the one with the apple pie. You can put other little cards in there too, which I've done. I, um, okay, now I haven't got any mitts. What ribbon? I think I might only have... I'll just keep the yellow, the yellow going here. I can always change it at a later date, but I just want that there to put that through so we can put that in the book. I'll poke it up to that in half. Great little tool. bit long. I'm going to trim that. And what will I pick for that one? I might do um, I like this one here. This one's like a little patchwork. 
put that there. And then there's a little, a little stick here saying the kids love dirt. And we'll put that across, across like that. And then we've got one tag to go. We pop that in there. On the front of this one, saying it's quite plain, I'm going to put this one here called Baking Day and pop that in the front. Do that one on the side. Um, there's another little sticker that says bake. Put that there. This one here, put, um, put a, recipe, a recipe card and a bookmark. So on this page here, I will put I think I'll put Cute Chef. I like that. And then we'll put another recipe card in there as well. Then on the front cover of this one, I've had my eye on this mixer. I love this mixer. As I have one of the KitchenAid, I have the KitchenAid mixer and food processor, and I just absolutely love it. So I'll put that in the middle there. And on the top, oh, here we go, this is perfect. Mix it up. There, or up there, I'm gonna put that there on the corner. And then I think I'll put one cup. I like that. Put another recipe card in that one. And to the bookmark. This one's not really going to need very much. So I am going to use this one called Love Being in My Kitchen. Oh, my, it doesn't really stand out that much. Here we go. I like these ones with the knife and fork. That doesn't really show either. It's very colourful, that one. Maybe I'll put tonight's menu. Put that in the middle there. What's this one? And love to cook. That doesn't really need a lot of decorating because it does have a lot going on there. This one I will do, this one is, I think, the, the desserts one. So I might put a picture of an apple pie. I'm going to put that up here. And perhaps some sugar and spice. And I'm going to need my tool here. It's sticking to it. There we go. I'll put that down there. What else goes with the dessert? Could always put um, I might do a lemonade. because I can and this page here this one's my baking one so I definitely have to use the flower canisters I love these ones then going down like that and definitely need an oven mitt go up there my kitchen uh, which I do because I seem to be here an awful lot in my kitchen and I'll put some measuring cups up here it's like being at school again sticking all the stickers on 
You forget how much fun it is. Go across there. I'm going to leave some for the back page. So down on that one there, I might... There I might do the knife and forks. Oh, actually, how about the measuring one? That's always a really good... Good chart, that one. And seeing it's the back of the book, how about some dirty dishes? I love that. Thank goodness for dishwashers. We'll go and serious foodie. Now I do have some stickers left and I might at a later stage go through and put some more on there. Um, let me see what else can I put there. I think that's probably all right for now. Um, yes, so this is what I have left of my sticker sheet that way. So I've, I've used a lot of them. Um, baking fills my heart with joy. I think I will use that one because I do love baking. It's my favorite. And we'll do the happy tummies. So there we go. I think I have I uh, don't put some more bookmarks in. I've missed out on some. And some recipe cards that we can still use. You can fill these, like I said, you can always fill them up with a lot more stuff. Which I probably will. And we will put the belly band on. So that keeps it closed. I think that I probably will need to make that a little bit smaller, a bit tighter, but that's all right. I'll deal with that later. So there you go. That's our um, lovely cookbook. And this here is the original one. I think they're both really pretty. The glue moved on that one. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorials, the tutorials on these books. Like I said, if you did enjoy them, please give it a thumbs up and um, so hit subscribe and the little bell. And when I do put out new videos, you'll be notified of those. I'm not going to turn the camera around on myself once again because I don't want to wreck my video today. So we'll do one walk over through, through here and then I'll um, say goodnight. So there we go, the inside page. Again, you can decorate it a lot more there, which I probably will. I'll decorate the inside page. And then we have our mains, main section and our entree section and also if any of you um, are going to make this book I would love for you to um, post it and show us what you have made would love to see your handiwork that would be really good to share and if there's anything else you'd like to see let me know and there we go so Thank you for um, staying with me. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.